Hi Covenant, for several months now, we have been bringing you videos that explain the rationale behind the launch of Covenant Christian School to an independent evangelical uh, school sta state. Uh, if you would like to continue to receive updates on the progress of that effort, I wanna encourage you to subscribe to the videos that our headmaster, Ron Fisher, is creating on a regular basis. Moving forward for this ministry year, uh, we will be focusing on the vision of our church and different aspects of our vision, and we will be releasing monthly videos to help generate discussion and explain where we're going as a church. We just are finishing up a, a series of messages out of the book of Revelation, but in October, we're going to unpack our mission statement, bringing gospel restoration to people's deepest needs and our broken world. You know, our mission statement is like a guiding compass. It tells us the direction we're going and what we're ultimately supposed to be doing as a church. It makes the overall direction of the church unquestionable, and it points everyone in that direction. We staff, we program, we budget around our mission statement. Two different times this year, we'll be focusing on the mission statement. And from mid-October to mid-November, and then again right before Easter, will be preaching about our mission statement. Values are the motivational flame and the shared convictions that reveal our strengths as a church and guide our decisions. Uh, there are six of them that we have settled on, and the sermon series that will begin the weekend of November 18th and run all the way through the end of the year is going to unpack each of these six. Some of them are actual, some of them we know that we need to improve on as a church. Strategy answers the question, how do we do the mission? It's like a flashlight that shows new people clear next steps, and it sets the expectation of involvement for all of our members. The language of our strategy should sound very familiar to us. Worship with us weekly, grow in a group, serve in the church, and reach outside the walls. We're gonna begin the new year in January with our strategy and explain these four steps. We're gonna take a break in February from vision sermons and focus on family and marriage. We'll pick back up in March with our marks. You know, if strategy is about assimilation and helping people get connected into the discipleship process of our church, Marks is about formation. How do we know that we're actually accomplishing the work that we are seeking to do? And there are several marks that we have defined, and we've posed them as questions for you that we can use on a regular basis to gauge whether we're growing in our spiritual walk. They cover important areas such as worship and service and stewardship and evangelism. We'll begin that series the weekend of March the 3rd, and we'll conclude it on March the 24th. I mentioned to you earlier that we'll revisit our mission statement in the run-up to Easter weekend. On Easter weekend, we will begin a series of messages that reveal the vision proper. You know, a vision is a, a living language that is meant to inspire people. Um, it anticipates God's better future for our church. When our mission is being lived out and realized in our families, in our city, and around the world. In 10 years, as our church celebrates its 50th anniversary, this vision that we've landed on stretches us. It challenges us to trust Jesus and to surrender to His will for our lives and for our church as He makes all things new. This sermon series will begin on Easter Sunday, and it will take us through the end of the ministry year. It sets very specific goals. It's going to stretch us as a church. It's going to inspire us. We're going to know whether or not we're achieving the vision that we believe that God has set for us. I want to ask you to begin even now praying. We put before you 321 at the Come Together, where you pray for three people befriend two, and invite one into a gospel conversation. Uh, pray for these three. Pray for our church as we 
seek God's best in this vision that we believe He's given us.